Welcome to the first episode of Dragon Ball News Time. I'm your host, Vro. In this series, we'll be covering Dragon Ball news from the past 7 to 10 days. To keep you guys stay up to date, let's begin. Our first piece of news is about Dragon Ball Fighters. The Fighter Show has been officially announced. The contact list for this show is patch notes, esports announcements, and show matches. It will be on August 9th at 12 o'clock Pacific Time Zone. You can watch it on Fighters' official Twitch channel or Bankai Esports' YouTube channel. We'll keep you posted if anything else is revealed. Secondly, we have news about Dragon Ball Super Volume 16. It is officially out now. You can go check out the extras from this volume and its back cover on your screen right now. In the extras, it is revealed that Toriyama himself designed Granola's Namekian roommate, Maranto, and the Cerulean's. Toriyama's original name for Maranto was Slug, but this was changed to avoid confusion with the movie villain from Dragon Ball Z. And this is the back cover of the volume featuring Beerus, Whis, and the Oko Fish. Amazing art and the many other contexts from the volume, such as the new Goku Black art and Tori Thomas comment, which goes as the new character designs for the Granola and the Heaters were several exchanges accepted by Toriyama Sensei. However, he ultimately fixed the designs for the Cheruleans and Matsuro himself. The Cheruleans are the cutest. I will take care to draw these characters. Our next bit of news is about the man himself, Tori Taru. It's been officially confirmed that on August 9th and August 16th, Tori Taro will be joining the host of weekly Dragon Ball News videos, Victory Ochida, to talk about Granola the Survival Arc. We'll be covering everything on our channel, so make sure you're subscribed. Moving on, Jiren Full Power Gameplay Trailer is officially out by Bekai Nanko for the fighting game Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. He honestly really looks cool. I can't wait for the DLC to come out. If you want to watch the full trailer, link in the description below. There is also a no surprise in the end features of the scene about Goku and Vegeta fusion talk from DBS Broly. Does this mean we're getting a Super Broly movie story mode? Maybe, but who knows, more information will be revealed soon. Moving on, we have news about Mishia Shiremoto. He's drawn Dragon Ball Vol. 11 cover in his own style, and his comment read as, Among the many characters in Dragon Ball, the one I like the most is Krillin. I've always passionately read the parts where he chases Goku's back, even though he knows he's stronger than him. I love all the chapters where Krillin fights, and the one of the reasons why I chose to draw Vol. 11. Congratulations on the 40th anniversary! Starting from Seiko Jump, September issue, which is already out, Different Mangas will be redesigning one of the 42 Dragon Ball covers until November 2024. This will continue until the 40th Dragon Ball anniversary, that is until the next 3 years. This is really exciting and I really look forward to all the 42 Dragon Ball covers. Next on the news, a few days ago, the official Dragon Ball site released an article titled Namek Editorial. The hype around the Dragon Ball Super superhero reveal keeps building. In this article, they talk about Piccolo's house quoting in the new movie. It seems like we might even get to the chance to venture around Piccolo's house. All of us here in the Namek branch simply cannot wait for the 2022 release. End of quote. I am very much looking forward to it and the movie. Let me know if you're excited too in the comments below. In further manga news, the Shonen Jump website held a poll of population on the Dragon Ball characters, and the results has been officially released. Future Trunks got 5th place, Goku Black got 4th, Gohan got 3rd, Goku got 2nd, and the Prince of All Saints Vegeta won 1st. You can see the other characters names who managed to rank in the top 20 on your screen. Honestly, I'm a bit disappointed that Shonen Jump didn't even include Piccolo or Broly, but I'm sure they would have if they were in list if they take part in this pool. Moving on, Seiko Jump Magazine, which used to be released every two months, is going to be released every month now, and digitally too. It's no surprising that this magazine got a digital release before V-Jump, which is very much more famous and profitable to Suisha. We also have some Dragon Ball scans from Seiko Jump in latest issue. You can see them on your screen. We also have some exciting news. Dragon Ball Super Granola the Survival Arc 9 Pocket Binder Card Case has been revealed. It's a limited time event exclusive item which is available to purchase from Jump Victory Carnival Market on Amazon from August 4th, Japan time till November 30th. Our final bit of the words of the news is regarding about Dragon Ball Legends. The game has reached 50 million users worldwide. In celebration, they are holding a 50 million user celebration campaign. A video has been released with more details on the campaign, link in the description below. And that concludes the first episode of Dragon Ball News Time series. Let's hope there will be more news upcoming this week or month for Dragon Ball. Please show your support by liking and sharing this video. Don't forget to subscribe for all the latest Dragon Ball news. Follow us on Twitter at dbhype1. I'm your host, Vro, and I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.